Hey guys, I'm going to talk about this 1978 Chevy C10 truck that goes by the name of Papaw. Uh, several, well, a few weeks ago now I said something about selling the truck and I priced it for $8,500. What's your best offer on it? I'm not going to give the truck away. It's not eating anything, but I'm somewhere as real close to $8,500. But the rod run and shades of the past and pigeon forge is coming up and I'm not going to it. Mrs. P.I.B. and I are not going to be attending. So uh, we thought about putting our bicycles in the back and riding around on our bikes, but I've got two more C10 trucks coming, as you know, so I need to be making some room. So I'm going to go over this one more time. It's a 350 350 it's got new new uh, uh u-bolts in it uh it's got let's see let's just raise a hood hang on just a second uh new master cylinder new power steering hoses new belts uh the ac works a new alternator new fuel pump uh radiator hoses they're all new. The truck, as far as I know, and I'm not a mechanic, but as far as I know, it doesn't need anything. Except, I would get a front end alignment because it's got uh, new tires on it. Uh, say, what else? I'm trying to think of everything in a nutshell. I've got lots of videos on this truck if you think you might be interested in it. It's, it's a good running truck, and my wife and I, last week, drove it, and uh, I filled it up with gas. It done just fine. It was a very hot day. It was in the 90s, had the AC on, and I guess people were thinking, <laughs> how's this old truck have AC? But it does. It works. Uh, the Cruise does not work. It came with Cruise. Doesn't have, it doesn't work. Uh, the, the truck, oh, yeah, let me show you this. Truck doesn't leak anything. And my wife and I, I'm going to shut this hood. Don't let it hurt your ears. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't need anything as far as I'm concerned except the front end alignment. And I haven't done that because I, I'm kind of on the fence about whether I want to lower it and put uh, maybe some 20-inch rims on it, uh, American Racing. But they're kind of hard to find too, so I really don't. I'm not sure which direction I want to go with this truck if, if I don't sell it. But uh, I've done a color change on it. It was dark blue and light blue. So I've kind of swapped it and put white and light blue. The bed was a totally different color. Like I said, I have lots of videos on this truck. And you can look at it. The truck is not perfect. It's 44 years old. needs to be cleaned up underneath. Uh, I haven't haven't started it today, but I'll show you the insides. Headliner's kind of sagging a little. It's 44 years old. I mean, it's not going to be. It's not a new truck. Uh, the power door locks, they want to work, but they won't. You can see that. I haven't started it today. Let's see how quick it starts up. <laughs> There's no smoke. It's got dual exhaust on it. I guess I should have left left the hood up where you can hear the motor. There's no there's no funny noises. This truck start, starts good. Hang on a minute. Okay. Sorry, I had to have two hands to open the hood up. There's no funny noises or anything. It's 350, 350. It's a good truck. Shut the hood. All the lights work. Everything works. It's Turn it off so you can hear me a little bit better. Like I said, I've done a color change. I put Penetrol on it. 
it needs washed it's been sitting out here I do have a slight water leak when it rains real hard or when it rains and uh, it catches on the floor mat here but I see I'm trying to think of all the things that's wrong and I, I mentioned the power door locks will follow the years coming quick all the leaves are falling uh sometimes the radio works let's see hey, it's working we'll hear more Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Wipers work. I've got new wiper blades on it. Uh, the truck used to have dual tanks. There's no switch there, so I just put some tape there one day when I was painting the truck, and I guess I just left it on there. Uh, I'm trying to think. It, oh, it's got a little bit of rust right here. This is a 78, and I've had a bunch of 78s. A little rest there. Let me get my key and I'll open up the other side and show you. Uh, rest there. Rest there. I even put brown paint when I was painting the truck to make it stand out. I'm not trying to hide anything and I'll be as truthful as I can possibly be. If I know something about the truck, I'll tell you it's got a dent here. I painted this the other day just just for fun uh, I've sealed this uh, camper topper with silicone but like I said we had a bunch of rain yesterday and I've had a little bit of water come through so there's a leak somewhere if you want the truck I'll let this go with it and if you don't want it I'll be more than happy to keep it uh, let's see we took the cover off this camper topper thing and painted it up painted the whole truck is looks like it's factory paint so I put stainless steel bolts in it and all that to keep from having any kind of problems uh, the windows all work my wife and I like I said there's a lot of videos on this truck and my wife and I have done a bunch of work to this truck I've only got one window crank so if you want to go from here to here you get a Phillips head screwdriver and move it but Actually, you can get a Phillips screwdriver and just turn it with the screwdriver. That's what I was doing. So, oh, these wheels and tires are for sale locally. I'm not, I've got those for sale there. I don't, really don't need them. So I'm selling them. Uh, I've kept the old stickers on here from the previous owner that had it. It's got a lot of. That says international, but I don't know what it is. There's some more stickers over here. Somewhere. Well, in there, there's some more stickers. And if you take the camper topper off, you can see them a little bit better. I put new tail light lens in it. Uh, let me crawl up into the truck. The truck had been sitting for a long time. I bought it from Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop. He's on Facebook. Tim Dixon, Gas Axe Chop Shop, Axes A-X-E. But as you can see, it's got some dirt dauber nests. The truck has been sitting for a long time, but this thing runs great. It doesn't leak anything. Like I said, the AC works, power steering, power brakes. And I think I mentioned, I think I did, it's got dual tanks on it, but somebody swapped the bed, so there's no way to put gas in that tank, and that's fine with me. It doesn't bother me any. Uh, oh, I was going to show you the other side if I can find the right key here. Just so you can see it from this angle. I try to be just as truthful as I can be. Oh, this interior light works when you open up the passenger side door. It doesn't work on the driver's side. I don't know why, but it doesn't bother me. It might, you, the dash has a few cracks. It's 44 years old. It's a square body. 44 years old. It's basically in very, very good shape. There's no rust there is on this door. I'm always 
talking about typical C10 rust, but this truck is not typical. It's way above. There's no rust in the rockers, not in the cab corners. There is a dent right here in the cab corner. I'm sure somebody could replace it or fix it. Or As for me, it doesn't bother me. I'm all the time in my videos saying typical C10 rust. This one is not typical at all. Oh, the hood was a different color too. I've, I've done a complete color change on the truck. Two-toned it white and, and, and light blue, sky blue is what I call it. It's got the bumper guards on it that a lot of people have tried to buy off this truck, but I love bumper guards. I love little things like this right here where you can crack the window and, uh, you know, rain can't come in if it does to if rain. I just like little options like that. Uh, my wife and I have, these lights do not work on this truck. They're just the lens. We painted, we, we washed this whole truck. It took us probably two days to do a good job washing this truck. And uh, I, like I said, I sealed the top, but evidently I missed a little spot where it needs some more silicone. But putting new lens on, uh, the, like I said, they don't work. It's just for show. Everything on the truck works. The lights work. The wipers work. You know, the, the, the stuff that you need to work, works. Lights, wipers, stuff like that. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything I can think of that might be a concern. You could put a seat cover on this or just leave it as is. It, the thing rides great. It drives great. And we just, I don't know, just got an urge to sell it because, it, like I said, I've got, I was pretty content up until a day or two ago about just keeping the truck, which I, I might do anyway if nobody's interested in it, but it's a, it's a good running truck. And like I said, I would get a front end alignment just because the tires are new. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to lower it, and stuff like that i mean if you had this thing lowered with some 20 inch torque thrust two uh wheels on it lowered with a little bit of an attitude man this thing would be killer in my opinion so but like i said all the lights work and everything i'm trying to think of things that maybe i can't think of nothing that's it the needs a front end alignment i got a little leak in the cab and uh Sometimes the power door locks, well, most just say all the time, the power door locks don't work. You can hear a clicking, but they're not working. Uh, and sometimes the radio works, and sometimes it doesn't. I'm trying to be as truthful as I can possibly be. The Lord's always watching, and I don't want anything brought up that... You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to be truthful. I've got some videos... Of this truck this summer without the, the camper topper on it it gives it a whole different look but I kind of like the camper topper my wife and I do plus I don't, really don't have no place to keep it the camper topper so instead of it getting tossed around in the wind with these storms we have around here I just keep it on the truck and you, as you can see I keep stuff inside of it so uh yeah I guess that's about it if you think you might be interested in this truck, seriously, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want you to waste my time, and I sure don't want to waste yours, but if you have any legitimate questions, I'm more than happy to help you, and I'll answer as truthfully as I can, or you can call Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop in 10 Mile, Tennessee. His phone number is on his Facebook page, Gas Axe Chop Shop, and he is a truthful person as well, otherwise I wouldn't be hanging around him, so... He'll tell you everything about this truck. It's a good truck. It sounds good. It runs good. And, uh, you know, but like I said, I've got two more C10s coming. And I'm, I guess I've got myself where I'm just about surrounded with them, which is a good thing. But I'd rather somebody get this truck and have fun with it or take it to the rod run or whatever in Pigeon Forge here in a couple of weeks and maybe... You know, put their stuff in the back and drive it up there. Or maybe if they want to sell it, I don't know. But I'm telling you everything that I can possibly tell you about the truck. If you have any questions or want to make me a legitimate offer on the truck and be serious because I don't want to waste your time and I sure don't want to waste mine. 
So I'm trying to be truthful. You you be truthful as well, please. But it needs to be cleaned up underneath. You know, if you had it up on a rack or done something, you know, that's my opinion. That's what I would do. But anyway, and I might wind up doing it if it doesn't sell. But this, this is a really good truck. You have lots of options. You can put different wheels on it. You can lower it. You can even make it into a short bed if you wanted to. It'd be a killer short bed without much... I'm telling you, for a 78 model, this is the best one I've ever had. Just a little bit of rust here and there, and that's it. So, I think setting for a long time has kind of helped it from... Maybe it hadn't been in the snow or the saw. I don't know, but this, this one is really exceptional. So, anyway, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless y'all. Stay safe. And uh, if you're interested in the truck, leave me a comment and a way to get a hold of you. And I will be happy to call you or answer any questions through comments, whatever. I try to be a decent guy and try to be truthful. So I'm doing the best I can. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. See you later.